Closed captioning is brought to you by Insect Defend Patch. Deep free protection from biting insects. If you do any kind of long line fishing, whether it's vertical jigging in deep water, like two, three, four hundred feet in the ocean, or you're using downriggers, or you're using planer boards, or dipsy divers, and it's important for you to know how much line you have out, the only way you can do that is using a good quality counter reel. What I've got here is the Rapala RSC counter reel. You can see that it has a, a very efficient built-in counter, also a large line capacity, a nice knob on the handle, so it's very easy, especially if you have to crank a lot of line up. The reel is very light on its own, and it's ideal for use with both monofilament line and braided line. So picture yourself fishing in a tidal current in 200 feet of water where you have a tide that's moving a couple of miles an hour. If you don't know how much line you need to let out and you let too much line out, your jig will probably get stuck on the bottom and you're going to move with the boat, which is a problem because then you have to change your position and probably lose your lure. You know what, this might be a really good fish. This is a good fish. Just keep the pressure on. You sure the drag is set right? Yep. <laughs> How do you like that outfit? Hey, I it's a it. North Coast by Rapala. That's you awesome. know what, I got the same rod over there, but I'm not using it underneath the tree. I love it for this type of application, it's great. Yeah. So what all this, he's using a two piece. Is that a nine and a half? Uh, it's eight foot six. Eight foot six, pretty close, or, um, eight and a half. So it's ideal because it's a little stiffer than a float rod that you would use for lighter line. Because you can see we got quite a current ripping through here. Although I see the weight. Oh, nice oh, this is brown. A good fish, yeah. Okay, good wow. fish. Okay, take your time. That's a nice. No, this male. is a great. This is a great fishery. You know, and, and well, for an alternative to the Niagara River, yep. where we get a lot more browns here. So yep. it's uh, it's something totally different. Careful, watch that head shake. I Only agree. Got six pound test, so Okay, just, just make sure your drag is set right. Be gentle. Gentle, Aldo. Gentle, like with a puppy. It. Look at the beauty. size of this brown. This might be my best brown ever. Okay, well, just, it's not landed yet, so. <laughs> I know. This is where you got to be careful. Hey, All the right, net, my the best net brown is ever. just big enough. <laughs> Look at that. That is a, a big beauty. brown. Now, I don't have a scale or a thing, a tape measure. That is a huge brown, Aldo. I'm guessing it's got to be in the mid-teens. It's got to be 14, 15. Yeah, I would say. I mean, you guide, right? So you at know. At least, at least 12. Man, I can barely get my hand around that caudal peduncle. Look at wow. that snout. It's not a beautiful thing. He's got a Jimmy Dorani lower <laughs> kite with a big snout. Hey, how you doing? Isn't that nice? He's gorgeous. Good hook set, all though. Okay, pull the chain out. Oh, that hurt. Don't snap it back. Most guys have it like, uh, Get a piece that. of monofilament. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful. Almost Beautiful. like I knew what I was that doing. That is a gorgeous brown. <laughs> Aldo, look at this. Come in and smile so you can say hi to your brother and your parents and stuff so they know that you do actually fish. Hi, hey, Ma. So this, this might be your biggest brown, eh? This, uh, yeah, this is my personal biggest brown. So I can see why you're a guide. Yeah, it's So gorgeous. you do this, right? Freedom. You just catch big fish for people and yeah, stuff? Yeah, it's fun, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you, you know, and, Listen, and the coaching every thing, time you pull that, it feels like uh, somebody's pulling a loose around. Well, there's another hook in them, I just okay. noticed. Okay, go ahead, grind it. Oh, okay. Where's the hook? Right. Oh, inside. Right you broke inside. somebody off. You broke somebody off there. We can use it. That's a good hook. There we go. Okay, I'm going to get him back in the net, Aldo. Okay. And uh, we're going to revive him and release him. What a gorgeous male brown. Now, don't step back, whatever you do. You got it. What a gorgeous fish. Okay, you know what, Aldo? I'm going to extend them out. I may get my feet wet, but that's okay. I'm going to hold them out of the net. I'm going to use the net like a goalie so you get some air. Look at that. What breathing. a big head, eh? Gorgeous. Look at He's got lots of energy. They're amazing. You know, you think of these fish, they're a trophy. Any one that we've caught are literally trophy for brown trout fishermen. Mm -hmm. And we can come down here and, you know, and start fishing like 7.30 in the morning. And by noon, you get a half a dozen browns. And some of them can be like in the teens like this. Look how wide his back is, Aldo. He's thick. You couldn't put your hand up there, you know, like around it. Yeah, well, he's got a big, thick so back. So I'm going to just take my hand away. I love the, the kipe on him. He's, he's he awesome. He wants to go. Is he going to go? He is going. Right back up. Look at that. What a gorgeous See you, buddy. animal. We'll see you next year. Canadian Sport Fishing. Brought to you in part by Suffix, the world's most hardcore fishing line. Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. 
sale. The Outdoors Superstore. Lucky Strike. All you need is a Lucky Strike. These little corkies that I've got here, I've got a whole box full right here. And they're all in different sizes. So I'm going to show these to you. Because these are really important if you come down here, okay? There's the corkies. You can see I have a pretty good selection. But right now I'm using the smaller size right here because the current is slow. So I want, I want my spawn sack to be up off the bottom but not too high. If the current was fast, I would go one size bigger really fast. I'd even go two size bigger like this one. 